You're a great guy. I just wish we aren't all so busy and hang out more like in the old days. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I remember having dinner with you like six, seven years ago, and you're like, "Well, we're gonna have cheese pizza. We're gonna have we're gonna have the the, the nut sauce, and we're gonna have the pasta, yeah. and we're gonna have you know succulent hot dogs. We know you love succulent hot dogs. <laughs> They're delicious. Guaranteed to make any party better. I mean, dude, that's what it is. They went fast. <laughs> Apple juice. Yeah. Thank you. Here's to you, buddy. Cheers. Good stuff. It's really good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's tell everybody the truth here. I'd like to, Shum, today, really get into the big picture and what I believe is really going on because I figured out the basis of what's happening. And if you want to know, I will actually break down right now the best knowledge right now of what's happening on the planet. Sure. Let me give you a basic gestalt. Uh -huh. Google believes that the first artificial intelligence will be a supercomputer based on the neuron activities of the hive mind of humanity. And so all of our thoughts go into it, and we're actually building a computer that has real neurons in real time that's also psychically connected to us that are organic creatures. And so then it's the end of consciousness and free will for individuals, as we know, and a true hive mind consciousness with an AI jacked into everyone knowing our hopes and dreams. This is what Hitler freaked out about and picked up. And delivering it to us, not in some PKD wirehead system where we plug in and give up on consciousness because of unlimited pleasure, but because we were already wired in and absorbed before we knew it by giving over our consciousness to this system by our daily decisions that it was able to manipulate and control into a larger system. There's now a human counter-strike taking place to shut this off before it gets fully into place and to block these systems and to try to have an actual debate about where humanity goes and cut off the pedophiles and psychic vampires that are controlled of this AI system before humanity is destroyed. Well, I mean, you could argue that any group of people, there's this sort of like a collective AI in, in the Google sort of search where we're all sort of plugged in as like, like nodes on the network. And, the, the, and Google plus the, all the humans that connect to it are one giant cybernetic collective. This is also true of Facebook and Twitter, and Instagram, and all these social networks. They're giant cybernetic collectives. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. We should probably do a video or something and explain it. We should tell people. People don't know that they should even search for it. It's amazing. You smoke marijuana quite a bit, and you're still a smart cookie. Because I'm an alien. Yeah, you're not of this world, bro. You're the alien. <laughs> well, are we going to go eat after this? Fine. What are you saying? Fun. But listen, let's just... Going on to... What were we covering? Okay. Well, look up Frank Marshall Davis's pornography. <laughs> Nobody really cares what porn you watch. It's like... Nobody actually cares, you know. I'm talking about guys like in goth drag that that gave uh, live head. But but listen, that's not the issue. You you know where um, the theory of of the species and where all the Darwin stuff came from. Yes, he had an hallucination and believed he was given all this stuff from like demons. Darwin wrote this. These letters are public. You can read these online from the National you know, Royal Archives in England and stuff. Wow. Oh, yeah, pull it up. And then and then Galton, who's related to all these other guys, in the 1850s, he starts having these ideas, and he says there's a double helix, which is the snakes for, for science and medicine. He was flying a fighter plane remote controlling two B-17s loaded with explosives as drones to crash into Germany. Hmm. That's strange. I'll look him up. You didn't believe me. I think I think things like that can make people quite sad. It's like it's it's like hard to maintain faith in humanity, but uh, I think for the average citizen, it doesn't matter. It doesn't doesn't. Ah! What the hell are you doing? You. This is crazy. Stop bothering me.